In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to use this tool here, which is the crop um, feature, um, which is probably something that you're quite used to already. So again, I've got this lovely stock image of a lion that I've thrown in here and I've clicked on crop and you can see that you've got some options that have come up here. So the first one is called free and this allows you to click on the um, sort of slightly thicker white lines, either at the top or in the corner of your image and to drag those um, to change the size of your image. You'll notice as you do this that a grid appears. This is directly linked to the rule of thirds um, that we've talked to you guys about. And actually it allows you to crop your image so that your focal point sits on those lines that we've talked about previously when we first went to take your photographs. So if your focal point sits either on the vertical or the horizontal or the, where these lines cross, you're going to have a more visually um, appealing image. So this is quite a nice way to manipulate that if you didn't when you originally took your photograph. So under free, you can drag these sections around. When you're happy, press enter and it will crop your image for you. Um, I'm just going to undo that because I want to show you the other options that are available to you. You can also crop according to ratio. So it will work out sort of what's best for you and it will kind of do it automatically. Okay. Your other option is size. So rather than being told how to do it or just dragging it around, you can actually enter specific values into the boxes here um, and it will crop according to whatever you have put in. So that gives you slightly more control if you didn't set up your canvas size originally um, for the image that you wanted. And you can then hit enter or apply and it will put those changes in for you. So that's um, how to crop an image.